few weeks back with David Attenborough talking about the days when he produced the first quote programs on TV, early days of TV. And um, Alan Lomax had persuaded him to book Margaret Barry. Um, and they said, well, how do we get on with Margaret Barry? I mean, she's a traveler in Ireland. She just played around the pub. And somebody, I think, to Lomax said, well, it's easy. All you do is you contact all the police stations on the west coast of Ireland and say, Margaret comes in, tell them that there's a return air ticket for her to London to come and play on the BBC. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, within two weeks it happened. And uh, Margaret turned up and uh, they took her into the studio, um, TV studio, and in those days the cameras were, weren't very good quality and they had the really powerful lights. So they get Margaret in the studio, do a sound check, everything else, everything's fine, and then take a break until the show starts. And this is live, it's not recorded, live. Um, so she leaves the banjo on the chair, um, goes out to the green room, comes back having sucked a few penises, and lights on. Margaret picks up a banjo and the heat of the lights has made it completely out of tune. She just goes straight into it, mm -hmm. sings it without yeah. retuning. And of course, you also notice that she's taken out the false teeth this time. <laughs> <laughs> so there was this program with Margaret with a completely out of tune banjo singing away quite un perturbed by this, no teeth, and <laughs> end up in the phone calls coming to the program and say, are we really paying our TV? <laughs> I just this is like this. <laughs> you know, just another case where they perfectly tuned beforehand, of course, not technically. It's still better than Mumford. Sorry? still better than Mumford. Well, there you go, you know. Anyway, you tune up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is Marching J. Bird. are in some of the classical tunes that uh, Russ played earlier, but I mean, it's nothing like it's complicated, and, and a bit of ragtime and all those sort of influences. They do in some of these fun little instrumental pieces, but quite uncharacteristic for some old time, really. <laughs> 